Hey everybody, so here's my boat again, it's out of the water and like I promised I'm gonna do a compression test on my boat uh, Last time when I did compression test the engine was cold I opened up the spark plugs and did the compression test However, this year like I promised I'm gonna bring the boat to the operating temperature And then I'm gonna open up the spark plugs and do the test So some people suggested I should do a compression test on a cold engine Whereas some suggested I should warm up the engine so we take the earmuffs, even though I can connect my hose over here, but I'm going to do the traditional way. So I'm going to connect my muffs from the water pickup point. Then I'm going to turn up the hose and start the boat. So we're gonna open up these spark plugs. In my last video, I showed you guys to hold it tighter from the cap and just pull it back, just like that. And then you open up the spark plugs, okay? So this is a six cylinder, this is Mercury 2002 salt water series, two stroke. So this has six spark plugs. So we're gonna remove these spark plugs. And the socket that I'm using is 13 by 16. We can check our spark plugs. And this season I'm gonna put new spark plugs. So it's time for them to go. It's almost a year I have these spark plugs or probably more than that in here. So this is our kit and all you got to do is take this and put it where you have your spark plug. And then you connect this part. Like this, make sure there's no pressure. So this here relieves the pressure. Then you can have somebody crank the engine for you and you can test the pressure. So let's crank the engine. So what I've done, I have the boat on open, wide open throttle and we're gonna crank. Go to my crank. So the first cylinder we did was at 90 PSI and this is the same result I had from last year. So this is giving me 90 so cylinder 4, 5 and 6 gives me 90 and cylinder 1, 2 and 3 gave me 92 so if you look at the ratio wise it is good but I'm going to try with the different um, gauges to see if I get any different reading so now the reason I did this test is because a lot of you guys asked me to warm up the engine, uh, to warm up the engine, to have it at wide open throttle. And um, some of you suggested, you know, when you warm up the engine, the piston and the rings are at the, they expand and they're at the right operating temperatures. So the compression should be good. Whereas some of you have told me uh, you should crank the cold engine and test because there should be enough compression for the engine for the pistons and the rings to create enough compression to start the engine so what i see there were two school of thoughts with the warm-up engine and with the cold engine and believe it or not the last time i did with the cold engine this year i did with the warm up warm up engine and uh with the wide open throttle and the results are not different they are still the same so my next um uh, test will be is to find a different gauge 
like Sears or Craftsman or um, snap on and test with that and see if I get any different readings so I'm gonna post those results in this video as well yeah. okay so, um, I got another tester kit pressure tester kit is from uh, Pep Boys and we're gonna do with the cold engine and we can do without the wide open throttle and we're gonna see if we get any difference in the readings either the gauge or the engine pressure is what it is okay so let's go ahead and do that so this is the kit so this is a kit by you can rent from or borrow from pep boys so i got that so we're going to do this testing so like i said uh it's cold engine and i'm installing the equipment and um A little bit tricky for this thing to go in. So let's try the first one. Go ahead, Maya. Again. So if you see here, we have a difference. This is about 100 and 118, I believe, or 115 PSI as a pressure compared to the Harbor Freight, which was giving it around 90 and 92. So we're gonna move on to the next cylinder and check our reading for the next one. Go ahead. Once more. All right. So here the uh, the uh, pressure is is the same as the other cylinder. Um, is at 115. So the first one was 115. This is 115. Now we move to the next one. Okay. Now we are on the other side of the block. The other side of the engine. So the reading is at 115. At the last one, let's see what this one brings. This gauge is from Pep Boys and it gave me a reading of 115 or 118 uh, for all the cylinders. And, um, and th the difference should be 15 to 20 percent, but all the engines all the cylinders were firing at almost at the same pressure so right now what i'm going to do i'm going to do one uh cylinder with the wide open throttle, open throttle. So, so i want to thank everybody that when i posted the original video when i bought the boat and did the pressure test many of you uh, came out and suggested uh, different things so the result uh -huh. that i have is either you warm up the engine or you don't warm up the engine the compression reading is the same however the only difference that you get when you open up wide open throttle you get a difference of at least like five points so all my cylinders with wide open throttle fired at 120 uh, 20 whereas one cylinder fired at 115 and when i did without the wide open throttle all my uh, cylinders fired at uh, 115 only one was at 112 so the difference is like 15 to 20 percent difference variation is okay so i'm very glad that my engine is good and um the pressure tester kit that i have from harbor freight which is like 30 something dollars but it did not give me the right reading uh the one that i borrowed from or rent from uh, pep boys is almost the same price but it gave me accurate reading so thank you so much i thank everybody for participating with me and if you are watching this video and if this video helps you please subscribe the channel and share with friends and family your subscription helps me to do all these videos it helps me a little bit financially as well so i appreciate you guys subscribing and sharing this video and uh, leaving your comments thank you so much